I solemnly swear, it ain't a part of me fair This the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer The very next week, I lost three of my men's Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay Free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop It's the V-A-D-A, I got beef with the feds in the Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A -A. I got beef with the fans in the D-A Good good bow 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 You already know what it is man Salute to every single one of y'all out there The subscribers, that notification gang, etc, etc Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you You know who I be Follow me on IG Vada underscore fly Tell your mama I said hi Tell your sister I missed her All of that Um, Shout out to every single one of y'all So I see that uh, Calico, shout out to Calico and everything that he's got going on, has just dropped a full card called Winter Madness. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Black Mafia Battle League and all the things like that. He has Arsenal versus Murder Mook on here. This is a very interesting battle that I'll talk about. And there's some other battles in there that I think is pretty dope. Um, I'm glad that Calico dropped his card so we can start talking about some more battles and shit like that. Um, I did see a uh, hustle and her handlers trying to explain all this extra bullshit. Listen, your battle didn't happen. We really don't give a fuck. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good lord. At the end of the day, like, who cares? Like, this is the thing about these leagues. They want to do damage control after the fact. Oh, they could have did this. Oh, they could have did that. The sponsor said that she wanted the money sent. Before she battled, <laughs> the back end before you battle, ain't nobody, pay ain't nobody paying you niggas or sending no money before the fucking raps. Check it right, look, my new shit. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. Loves me, loves me not. Loves me. Max, what's going on? Frank White, shout out to you. I wouldn't have sent shit either. It is what it is. And as bloggers, we don't need to answer to nobody. I don't need to go in nobody's space. I don't need to get tagged. I don't got to answer to you niggas. Cause guess what? At the end of the day. I am a customer. If I watch a product and we don't like it, it is what it is. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> what the fuck ever. But uh, a lot of it does fall on the league as far as what, what, what went on with Prom Night. Y'all know a battle's not happening, but y'all continue to promote it. Y'all continue to let it be on the card, and y'all continue to have fans with this pretense thinking some shit is going to happen, then it doesn't. And then what one thing that I will say Trez and them did say is that they was told not to say nothing. See, this is the shit that I, this is the reason why niggas move how they move when it comes to a lot of these leagues. Because the leagues is going to show you the left hand and hide what's in the right hand. Nobody got time for that shit. It's too many events, too many pay-per-views. I know Debo's gonna go on his whole little campaign and talk about the bloggers and oh how they be hating or oh they not in the street and blah 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 blah. Nobody gives a fuck about what you're talking about either. All we want is fans. Good product. People not choking all fucking night. The battles on the card to actually happen in a good stream. That's all we want. The audio to be clear. For us to not hear outside conversations. And I, I did see uh, some of Bab's interview with Restore Order. And Restore Order, y'all should have definitely did more. They was kind of like, oh, it was a great event. And oh, but we can't wait till the next one. No, y'all niggas is Restore Order. Y'all was supposed to cut that shit and let them know that we could barely hear the fucking stream. Niggas was choking all goddamn night. And you didn't let us know until the last minute that a battle wasn't happening. So with that being said, let's let's move that shit out the way. I don't want to talk about these niggas to talk about that shit all week. The event wasn't good. I don't give a fuck. Let's move on. Winter Madness. Shout out to Calico. Um, he put together a pretty, pretty dope fucking card. Arsenal vs. Murder Mook. Calico vs. Swamp. Clean Paper vs. Rex. Marv 1 vs. Rock. Ill Will vs. Build Collector. X Factor vs. Twerk. A Ward versus J2 and Bailey Lee versus Coffee Brown. Now I will say, um, Arsenal and Murder Moon have had at it for years. I'm actually surprised that this is battle is happening now and on this platform. But shout out to Black Mafia Battle League, you know what I'm saying? Murder Mook is cool with Calico, so I'm sure, you know, their situation was able to be worked out and make sure that this battle happened. Arsenal, you know, been around forever. I did see this is see Arsenal is good. <laughs> Shout out to Ars, man. Arsenal is really good at promotion because 
He's coming out with a show, like a reality show, like how I'm really living, where they show their cribs and show their car, like an MTV Cribs type of shit. And I'm thinking to myself, this is dope, you know what I'm saying, to, to get to see the inside of, you know, battle rappers lives and shit like that. Like, oh, yeah. it's only about 10 of y'all niggas that's doing good. It is only about, 10 is a stretch, 5 of y'all niggas that are really doing good in life. Everybody else, we done seen how some of I'm just saying. They're doing bloggers on there too? I don't want to come to my house. Man. I should, <laughs> they'll be mad at me. But anyway, um, Arsenal is doing an MTV Cribs like show where he's showing his house, his cars, his studio and shit. And I was like, yo, this is good. Now that I see he's battling Murder Mook, I'm like, all right, here he go. He about to really, really, really say the most disrespectful, vile, foul, diabolical deed shit to Murder Mook about that crib and about that whole city. I guarantee you he will. But uh, it's Murder Mook coming back, you know what I'm saying? He's battling for the first time um, since, you know, he hasn't battled since last year. Uh, early this year, whatever the case may be, I haven't seen. I haven't seen Mook in recently. You know what I'm saying? Um, what's the last battle? Was his last battle? Get you a twerk. It's probably twerk, but whatever. Um, so you have no it was twerk. Yeah, twerk was. Uh, Geechee was last year. Twerk was uh, the one where he battled him on stage not too long ago. So, uh, yeah, that was cool. But um, you got Arsenal versus Murder Mook. They got a lot of history with each other. Uh, it could be a really good battle. Uh, the fact that it's going to be on Black Mafia Battle League, you know what I'm saying? I did see how they put together an event last time. They had a good battle in Tay Rock. Very good battle in Tay Rock versus Bill Collector. Actually, one of the better battles of 2024. And they put together some other fight. I did hear Calico talking not too long in the spaces he was talking with Verb and you know saying he got one of the better cards this year and etc etc and now that I look at it you got Arsenal versus Murder Mook that is a really dope um, a main event it's December 8th going down in Mount Clemens Michigan I believe that's not too far from Detroit you know what I'm saying um shout out to the city of Michigan shout out, you know I got a lot of family in Michigan I told you a lot of my family live in Michigan live in Ohio and shit like that my mom live in Ohio and all of that you know what I mean so shout out to uh Winter Madness uh, I definitely would peep this on Rap Grid. Hopefully, the stream and everything. They didn't have a, they had a good stream last time, so I'm sure they will again. Calico versus Swamp. This is a huge battle. The Calico versus Swamp is dope because this was a battle that people was talking about for quite some time, whether it be on URL or other leagues. So for Calico to actually take a million views, which is because Calico damn near does a million views every time he comes out, to take a big battle like that and put it on his own platform definitely means a lot. Uh, Swamp. Swamp been having a pretty dope year, you know what I'm saying, from the Verb battle and some of his other joints. But I'm going to be honest with you, Calico going to have to prepare for Swamp because some of Calico's last battles have just been, ah, ah, just been, ah, you know, then he battled Reed and the Reed battle was, ah, was, ah, was ah. so Calico going to need more. You know what I'm saying? You're not just showing up and just rapping a bunch of random shit and think you're going to be Swamp. We, if you're going to perform and you're going to be at a high level where you from, you need to show up and really show out versus Swamp. Swamp is from South Carolina. If you, if Calico is in his bag, Calico needs to be on some shit to where he's trying to make Swamp leave Michigan with no rounds. Not, oh, we come there and this shit is kind of debatable. We see what happens and then Swamp fuck around and steal the battle. Dope battle though. Kitchen Clean versus Rex. Uh, very good nostalgia battle. I believe they were supposed to battle before whatever. Yeah, they was. Rex, whatever happened, because Cal cause Clean was there at the event and Rex wasn't. So this is uh, probably a makeup battle, but a dope makeup battle. Marv 1 versus Tay Rock, phenomenal battle. Uh, Marv 1 has wanted Rock to battle Rock for some time. Rock has wanted to battle Marv. So this is another one, like I said, Rock battle every fucking week. And I guarantee you, he's going to be prepared. He's going to be prepared. Not like you choking, joking, slipping, blipping niggas who get a month and a half. Know y'all going to be on a car, show up, and still choke. This is the reason why a lot of these niggas be looking crazy. Look like funny money in the light. Like, how can these leagues get mad, not Calico and them, but just leagues in general. They get mad at the fans for their reactions, for people that you pay to show up but don't do their fucking job. Don't got three rounds, up there arguing, all this extra shit. But guess what? Fans have a voice, and they're gonna continue to, to voice their fucking opinion because they can. Uh, Ill Will versus Bill Collector is a really good battle too, man. Ill Will versus Bill Collector is fire because Bill is relentless. He's going to be on 10. He just had a phenomenal battle out there in Michigan with Rock. Ill Will, that's going to probably be battling tonight. X-Factor versus New Jersey Twerk. 
it's kind of like a twerk thing. You kind of feel like twerk is going to win. X Factor, um, X Factor, I'm not knocking X Factor, but X Factor's best days have already happened. Just my personal opinion. Who am I? You know what I'm saying? I'm just a nigga with a camera. I feel like his best days have already happened. And the, 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 here's how I look at X Factor versus New Jersey twerk. The floor to the ceiling with X Factor is not far enough to beat New Jersey twerk because New Jersey twerk's floor to ceiling, he can go to fucking levels. So I, I'm just, I, I, good luck to uh, to X Factor, but I don't got that happening. Uh, a Ward versus J Two. J Two is dope. He's been having really good battles all year. He's been in a lot of competition. A Ward is just A Ward. I don't have, I don't ever. I can't think of many battles that I pick A-Ward losing going into, so that's going to continue. Bailey Lee versus Coffee Brown. I don't really know who Bailey Lee is, so who would I be to lie to you? Um, but overall, from the looks of this card, this is a card that could get me to watch it. Like, not just put a headphone in and go on about my day. Because Arsenal versus Murder Mook, that is a fucking huge matchup. Let's get back to that. Uh, ever since... Murder Mook came up. That's why I got a do rag on today. Hold on, let me put the flap up. You know what I'm saying? Put the flap up. Cut the crap up. Put the flap up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ever since Murder Mook came to prominence back in the days and kind of like, you know, rose to the top level, him, Rex, etc., etc., when they had the whole beef with Jersey and they were going back and forth, you know what I'm saying, with the Jersey disses and, and not being cool with the Jersey and battling Jersey, Arsenal and Mook was always a battle that people talked about happening. I remember when Arsenal battled Lux. You know what I'm saying? That was pro was some of the talks of the next battle for Mook. Mook, you know what I'm saying? And Ars never really got on the same track. And then Arsenal battled a bunch of times. He had some good ones. He had some bad ones. You know Ars, you know what I'm saying? What, what am I supposed to say? Some of his battles would be the filler killer. And the other ones he can get direct. Now, in a battle versus murder Mook, I do not think for one second that Arsenal is not going to bring his A game. Because everybody's going to bring their A game versus Murder Mook. But the thing about Murder Mook, Murder Mook is very tactical. You know what I'm saying? He's an angle god. He's a tactician. And he can go to different pot And he can rap for a very long time. Murder Mook can rap for 15, 20 minutes. And you doing black battle. I'm like, them niggas ain't got no clocks. Them niggas. I ain't seen a nigga on stage with a, with a watch last time. You know what I'm saying? And if they did, it was a watch with some ice on. Them niggas can't tell time on them bitches anyway. So, yeah. If you, if you, if you know like I know, Arsenal. If you know, like I know, I will prepare for Murder Mook to be on 10. You know what I'm saying? To be in his bag and to really, really, really try to bring the offense to you because with an Arsenal, he's going to get very disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? We, we know that. That's not even a, a thing. But for Murder Mook, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, he's got a, he's going to have to come out. He's going to have a sharp performance. Got to have a crispy performance. And just got to get fans back to understanding why he is who he is and he does what he does. And he's got Rex there. So when Mook and Rex is on the same card, you already know they're going to have each other's back. They're going to support each other. They're going to gas. They're going to... The meat to the heat of the dog. I'm going to knock his arm on tender side and all that other shit. Uh, bar for bar, uh, probably Mook. Mook is a better uh, to me, just me personally. Lyrically, a lyrical genius murder Mook is, and I will never take that from him. Uh, this battle may be happening a little too late. You know, like when Floyd Mayweather and Pacquiao fought, they were like, you know what I'm saying, instead of them fighting at their prime, both of them were like not at their prime anymore. I don't consider Arsenal at his prime, and I don't consider Murder Mook at his prime anymore, but I'll still take it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I ain't hating, I'll still take it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I hope the stream, the stream, like I said last time, was well. I don't know if they had a... Uh, did they have commentary? I don't know if they did. I think they did. They had L. Will hosting some battles last time, or whatever the case may be. But that's neither here nor there to keep it fair. Uh, I do like it, though. From I did like it dropping on my timeline today because, like I said, it was nothing but a bunch of bullshit and excuses and, oh, the bloggers this and, oh, they so negative and, oh, they only want to talk. Y'all don't want to talk about the chokes. Y'all don't want to talk about the bad stream, and y'all don't want to talk about promoting battles that you knew was canceled. So what the fuck? Until we can talk about that shit, don't tell me about no bloggers being negative, because guess what? We really don't even give a fuck. Everybody got their own platform, and ain't nobody scared of nobody. We're going to talk about whatever we want, and that's just what it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's your league, their league, someone else's league, it just be what it be. And I know Debo be in his feelings, you know what I'm saying? I know he feel a little extra rough and tough since he snuck caps at an event and shit, but... 
We really don't care about that. You don't get no points where I'm from. And we from the same place, nigga. We from the Bronx. You don't get no points for a sneak attack, man. Sneak them cameras and make sure they do better. Sneak them microphones, make sure they do. See, the thing is, a lot of these leagues be cutting corners. They go get the cheapest nigga that they can, and then once the streams. <laughs> Then, you know, the last part about the shit for this weekend that was funny. I saw Babs in the interview talking about, like, you know, I think it was your boy Clip that did the uh, the, the pay-per-view. Uh, I don't know if he's even qualified to do a stream of a, of a big amount. I'm just saying. Has, what pay-per-views has a nigga done that, that have been successful, that have been big pay-per-views? No knock on him. Shout out to what he do. But from what I know him as the cameraman, you got him up there doing a pay-per-view and the shit go wrong. <laughs> nigga, you think? But a lot of y'all, if y'all ain't got no good streaming service or ruin your day, I ain't copping this shit anyway. I'm gonna just be honest with you. I don't, because I already know it's gonna be some foolery that comes with it. But anyway, shout out to Black Mafia Battle League. I will talk about these battles more with Showtime SP and et cetera, et cetera. But I did have to make the announcement that Murder Mook versus Arsenal is going down December 8th. Game. Oh yeah. When you start rapping like that, shout out to all of the people who been hollering at me, supporting me about this mixtape. We will have it out Friday, you know what I'm saying? I promised y'all that. And uh, shout out to everybody that's been tuning in, you know what I'm saying? Checking out to the shit that I got going on. I definitely appreciate all the love, support, admiration, and comments. And I will continue to support and thank every single one of y'all that rock with what I got going on. Other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all. You ain't know what the fuck going on. Gang! I solemnly swear, it ain't a part of me fair This the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery, yeah The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer The very next week, I lost three of my men's Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay, free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop It's the V-A-D-A, -A. I got beef with the feds in the D Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A -A. I got beef with the fans in the D-A